Chinese President Xi Jinping, the uncontested leader of the world's most populous nation, heads a pivotal plenary of the ruling party's top figures next week that will for his bid for his bid his bid for long-term rule. The only such meeting this year paves the way to its 20th party congress next autumn, at which Xi is widely expected to be handed a third term in office, cementing his position as China's most powerful leader since Mao Zedong. China will make people who support Taiwan independence criminally liable for life, according to a spokeswoman for China's Taiwan Affairs Office, amid heightened tensions between Beijing and Taipei. This is the first time that China has spelt out concretely the punishment for people deemed to be pro-Taiwan independence. The UN Security Council called for an end to the intensifying and expanding conflict in Ethiopia. The Council called on the parties to put an end to hostilities and to negotiate a lasting ceasefire, and for the creation of conditions for the start of an inclusive. In recent weeks, the conflict has expanded, with Tigray forces seizing key cities on a major highway leading to Ethiopia's capital. The United States is advising any of its citizens who are in Ethiopia to leave the country as soon as possible due to deteriorating security conditions. Most of the offenses have been carried out by Ethiopian and Eritrean forces, United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights said. The war has worryingly crept closer to the capital in recent days. Bloodstains still mark the spot where assassins gunned down Mohibullah, an activist who was a leading voice for the 850,000 Rohingya living in fear in Bangladeshi refugee camps. They are members of the Rohingya Salvation Army, an insurgent group fighting the Myanmar military but also thought to be behind a wave of killings and criminal activity in the camps. Asa has denied killing. A Palestinian teenager was killed by Israeli troops during West Bank protests, the Palestinian Health Ministry said, days after Israel approved plans for 3,000 new settler homes in the Eritrea Eritre tree despite international criticism. Five other Palestinians were injured in clashes in the northern West Bank. Advisor to the Prime Minister on Finance and Revenue Mr. Tarin said he and the International Monetary Fund want the GDP growth rates to stay in the range of 5 PC and 5.5 PDC for 2021-22, but I'd not like to see 6% growth this year. That's going to be damaging for our economy, he told the annual meeting of finance professionals. He said, adding that he's held a very healthy kind of discussion with the fund about which people will find out pretty soon. Recent hike in petroleum products by the government has been challenged in Lahore High Court. The plaintiff argues that the hike is illegal as the government increased the prices without approval of the federal capital. The government on late Thursday night had jacked up the price of petrol by 8 rupees and 3 pesi per litre with immediate effect. The Pakistan LNG Limited received five expensive bids for emergency LNG cargoes to avert the looming gas crisis in the country. According to the details PLL received bids with higher prices ranging from $29.8966 to $31.0566 per MMBTU from international LNG trading companies for two spot LNG cargoes to be delivered in the last 11 days of the current month. The Sui Southern Gas Company announced that the gas supply to CNG stations in Balakistan and Sindh would be suspended from Sunday to Monday and as a result, they would remain closed. Ply Com Ply Com Company said the suspension was being made to fulfill the requirements of domestic consumers. PMLN President Shehbaz Sharif made a telephone call to PPP Chairperson Bilawal Bhutta to discuss the rising inflation in the country. Both the leaders discussed to give the to give the of the opposition against inflation in the parliament. Shehbaz Sharif told Bilawal that his party was ready to join hands with PPP against inflation. 
The NE75 SIA got for by election held in Daska on February 19 was not held in a fair, free, and transparent manner. An inquiry report issued by the Elen of Pakna of Pak Pakistan has determined. According to report, the election officials and other government functionaries did not play their designated role in a requisite manner, and, they were found puppets in the hands of their unlawful masters. Pakistan has reported 11 deaths in the last 24 hours by coronavirus. According to the latest figures by National Command and Operation Center, 567 persons tested positive for COVID-19. The positivity ratio was recorded at 1.2%. Dengue has claimed four lives in Punjab and one in KPK in last 24 hours as cases of the virus continue to rise in the country. According to details, 561 cases of dengue were reported in Punjab and 183 in KPK during last 24 hours. So far 9 people lost their lives to the virus in KP and 63 in Punjab. Soon after announcing the winter package for electricity consumers, the National Electric Power Regulatory Authority has approved an increase of 1 rupee and 68 paise per unit for, de for, de for domestic consumers, while for commercial and other categories, the price per unit of electricity will be 1 rupee and 39 paise. A faithful copy of Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa dating from more than 400 years ago will go under the hammer at a Paris auction on Tuesday, months after another reproduction of one of the world's most recognizable portraits sold for a record price. The copy is so like da Vinci's original that it is likely the artist had access to Leonardo's version, the Art Curial Auction House said. It estimates the copy will fetch $173,000 to $230,000.